Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh dear, it's busy times here at Plaza Beam Games, but uh, I guess uh, I guess zombies are always here for you, you know. Zombies live simple lives, just wandering around and trying to eat anything they can. It's about uh, it's about humanity's most primitive instincts, and apparently our most primitive instinct is to eat. Why is those the most basic thing? Anyway, um, Gorilla. God, he's got he's got kind of a big head, isn't he? He's a weird-looking gorilla. I'm going to pick Gorilla this time for his big head. The B gun is quite cool, though. They swell up and then explode. Actually, why don't I show you that instead of talking about it? Show, don't tell, eh? Gorilla with a sword? Sure, why not? I haven't used any Uzis. Um, fancy grenades? I don't know what half these grenades are. Oh, that's what. Oh, I get one. Okay, so I've got proxy grenades normally. I've been using those. Okay, let's try sticky grenades. The pig. Actually, let's dwell for a moment on how awesome the pig looks. Look in there. I, I love pigs. I could talk about pigs for a bit. But, uh, and they're quite clever for uh, animals, apparently. And the, the other thing is they look sort of naked, unlike most animals. I guess most animals have fur and stuff. But pigs kind of look like you want to put a waistcoat on them or something, you know? They... They're, they're, I mean, a lot of people think they're kind of scary because they look like weird, mutated humans. Alright, there we go. He, he is now a British Bobby. <laughs> Even I do not talk like that, by the way. Um... Survival! Let's -a go! Go go! I am a turtle with a sword. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. That's, that's the cool thing about this. Oh, no, I'm trying to kill a pigeon there. How are, th are the bees coming out of... I don't get how this bee gun works. It's got like two nozzles out the front there. I don't really understand the bee gun, I'll be honest. But look at that, look how it does it, and, and they splat into flowers. Why, why would they splat into flowers? I know bees like having sex with flowers, but... That is actually quite cool. They must have spent a while implementing that and thinking it was a really cool idea and being so pleased. I, I bet that's it. Oh, this is, this is another weird quirk of this game. If you go... If you jump next to certain things, it kind of gives you a taller jump. I'm guessing it's just a artifact of the physics engine or something. Oh man, who played Metal Gear Solid 3 and remembers the pain? This, this is kind of like an odd... No, it's not quite bullet bees, it's just bee stings. Apparently zombies are uh, definitely allergic to bee stings. Oh, that's gross. It's somehow grosser because they explode into flowers. Like this kind of yellow, sick, yeah, it's the yellow goo and the kind of sickly sweet flowers, I don't know. <laughs> I look like one weirdly coloured fake boob just walking around with my little policeman helmet. One thing I wish I could do is uh, fire downwards from uh, up here. I don't think I can. I'm not even taking this very seriously. But I guess this game is not very serious. Okay, wearing a suit and tie. Because zombies have to get to work too. The thing about bees is, I think they kind of respond to your, your vibe. Because I knew a kid who was uh, really afraid of being stung by bees. Now there was a bee, and, and there was a bunch of us there, but you know, get, guess who the bee stung, eh? Be bees can smell your fear. I guess the bees are just programmed to home in on fear. I mean, like I said in the previous video, the animals are ruthless. They, they smell your fear and they kill the weak. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't at all understand this bee gun. Well, maybe it gets explained later in the campaign. It's got this globe in the middle and like two nozzles on it and bees come out and kind of like a weird poison effect, and I don't really understand. Let's use something I understand, a gorilla with a sword. I reckon that could be more satisfying as well. Maybe if he stopped when he swung the sword, or I don't know, just, just things that sort of work on the feel of this game, I think. They've got a lot of cool stuff, and it basically works. 
Oh! 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 I just realized how the sword works. It actually seems to, like, cut them in half properly, and oh! This is practically Metal Gear Rising Revengeance or something now. I, I like this sword tremendously. Actually, to be fair, I might have rather on a penchant for uh, swording zombies anyway. I liked the, uh, I think it was a Claymore in Dead Rising 2. That was neat too. And then in uh, Left 4 Dead 2, I was, uh, and I used the sword a lot. In fact, I can prove that I used the sword a lot. Because uh, when me and my mates were done playing Left 4 Dead 2, one of us drew this big poster. I'll, I'll leave a link to a tweet about the poster in the description. I better remember to do this. I will take a picture of the poster, and there's a link in the description if you want to see the poster, because the little poster he made depicts me using my sword and uh, wearing my favorite coat while killing zombies. I, I was very pleased with that. He really paid attention to, to what I'm about. <laughs> Gorilla strength! <laughs> yeah, the thing with Donkey Kong is it just, I don't know, his gorilla noises just remind me how creepily kind of Cuban they've been making Donkey Kong sound in some of the Mario Kart games. Like, he sounds so human, they've just like one notch below the Homer Simpson or something, you know? That was so much more powerful than the sword. No! <laughs> What I want to know is, who's voicing the lunch lady, because I think only two people are really involved with this. Like, who voiced the lunch lady? I want to go up to them and be all like, do the lunch lady voice, and one of them might be able to do it. Actually, why am I picking up the rabbit bombs when there are, there are like, pig bombs? Let's... Come on, zombies. Come on. Look, I'll just wait for you. Actually, if you look at the animation there, it snaps a little bit. But uh, it's fine, fine. Pig bomb, go! Yeah, look, look how cool it is. Look at oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I did not realise that could happen. No, I, I think being ragdolled might be a bit too dangerous, actually. Like particularly later in the game, you're kind of screwed because a whole bunch of zombies are gonna go and dogpile you when you're ragpiled. And uh, dogpiling is putting it nicely. Yeah, they could make the swords more satisfying, I think. It was like faster and went whizzing and uh, and like went in a kind of tidy arc. I don't know if it was clearer what was going on. Well, I'm a big fan of uh, hitting monsters with swords normally, so I'm a kind of a connoisseur. Oh, look how silly and fun that is. And they've certainly nailed... They've done what they intended to do here, I think, with this game. It definitely qualifies as silly and fun. And when you take out new toys, they are fun and silly, and they work differently from the fun, silly toys you've been playing with before. So this is like a... This is like kind of a, a toy cabinet. Really, the, all, all the video games are just an extension of what you do when you're a little kid with your toy box, really. It's just kind of playing with stuff. boo boo doo boo boo doo doo bim doo boo doo Whoa. That's a good move too, I think. Normally when you've got the big shambling masses, having the occasional zombie who's, well, faster than the others is uh, just a good way to kind of force you to reprioritize your targets and take things more seriously. I just roasted a huge bit of beef in the oven and I can kind of still smell it. Aroo! It's kind of weird that some of his hits make him stop, and then he can roll through other hits. I don't really understand. So the elephant, if the elephant's move charges clean through them, I, I'm beginning to think this game isn't ruthlessly fair. And it's just a lot of silliness, isn't it? Wobble dee, wobble dee, wobble dee, wob. You can only kind of see what angle his head's at with that weird hat. The pigeons are also a nice touch. Look how cute the pig is! I can't get over it, like he's just dangling there. Pigs are just so, they're so weird. And, and their tails are- whoa! Pigs! They, they give their lives for the cause! I didn't realise, I thought he just, I don't know, floated away or something. I didn't know he was gonna leave me like that. Piggles! Don't leave me! <laughs> I'm all alone against the zombie menace now. 
Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, actually, I like the shotgun now just because of how it shoots them away. Actually, ooh, I, I reckon when the zombies hit you, they actually one of those cool floor mark effects, like in House of the Dead or something. And that'd be good, at least. I mean, the, the thing with multiplayer is you've got to have stuff on screen that's not going to distract the other players, I guess. It's a bit of a... It, it, it's trickier. I normally do single-player stuff, so I don't have to handle that kind of issue, but uh, such issues exist. Can I, oh, oh, I'm out of ammo. Big bomb. Um, did I? No, no, I must have... Grenade! Is that going to, I don't know, is the sticky grenade going to ragdoll me? I don't know, and here comes the evil clown. Why am I even... Oh, two Uzis. Seems a bit less powerful than the AK, I think. Oh! And oh, oh, it is seriously worthwhile to save your true power for when the uh, damn mutant clowns come out, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Are you, I want... Oh, no, no, I didn't. I, I used the last of my gorilla strength to destroy the freaking clown. I didn't realise just how useful it was to, to save your strength for those occasions. Actually, again, like, some of the animals' super moves seem to not be so effective against the evil clowns and stuff. I don't know. This game is weird. Oh, is that is that that game? Hang on, hang on. Just oh. so I know they have actual real adverts for real games up on the advert board there. I want to be able to get a good camera angle on it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm fighting zombies with Uzis here, and I'm trying to uh, look at actual advertising. Maybe my priorities are all wrong. Bees, fire away! Come, my bullet bees! Oh, I, in all the excitement, I forgot to use my The Pain catchphrases. Come, my brothers! Tommy gun! Grenade! I guess you can't play as a bee because bees are too small or something. I don't want to have a mutant bee. Like, I guess you could kind of... You could play as The Pain, pretty much. You could have grenades and weird hornet-based attacks that make people swell up. London. Uh, somehow there's, this scenery really reminds you of how uh, how grey London in is, is as well. It's sort of gothic looking, isn't it? I guess most cities are like that. It's kind of weird, like, cities are places that we've built, like, deliberately for humans to live in. So why do we make them boring and grey? How did that happen? Is that, no, it's, it's, bu it's Button Frenzy, that's what it is. I, I met the Button Frenzy guy at... Uh, Insomnia 58. I've only been to two Insomnias and I'm already like mixing up all the numbers because uh, they happen I think at least two times a year, maybe three times a year. I need to actually pay attention now and uh, get my ammunition. Okay, ready to rock. It's more like it. <laughs> You know, this game is rather amusing. It is definitely a silly, amusing game. Oh, look at their fat bellies. Get in my belly. Get in the bee stings in my belly. I think they have... What do they have in Saints Row? They have a gun in Saints Row. That's right, they have a gun in Saints Row 4, I think, that swells up your head or something. It's got kind of similar power behind it, I think. What is the answer? Uh, zombies are coming. Protect yourself. I will, sir. I will. Is there a beehive in there? Oh, I think it is. I can just about make out the wee hexagons. Oh, come on, bee. Oh, no, no. The bees can... I'm going to see how much I can uh, shoot down at the baddies from, from above. I don't know how effective it is, but the shotgun is definitely amusing. Gorilla strength! None can withstand my gorilla strength. 
I think I prefer the, uh, the elephant charge just because it goes through them all the time. Give it a roll! Give it a strike! <laughs> Give it a roll! Give it a strike! Aim of Hawkeye! Aim of Hawkeye! Oh god, that, yeah, the shotgun is quite neat, just the way it sends them flying away. Am I slower a little bit using the shotgun? I'm not sure what the red zombies are about. Oh look, it's Lunch Lady Doris's bloodstained frying pan. And it's still there. What happens if I jump on it? Am I on it? Or am I just going... No, I'm just going through it. It's pretty neat though. Yeah, I think what's missing is landing on the cars and having them go crunch. Maybe break the windows a bit. I, I know it's only two guys working on this. I'm sure they're, they're busily working on on something. I mean, I, I know the feeling. There's, there's a lot to uh, work on with these things. Oh, zombies, where are you? I can't find you. I will heal myself and find you. What's in here? What's in here? A Tommy gun! Whenever I pick up a Tommy gun, I just see a Tommy gun in any form. I just think of the mask where he gets a Tommy gun and he's all like, Oh, well, this is the guy. Oh, hey, little fella. What's the matter? You're having trouble with your pathing because of a pigeon. Sucks to be you. Anyway, and there's some bit where he just pulls a Tommy gun out and goes like, Hey, a Tommy gun! And... I don't know, I guess that was how I was introduced to Tommy Guns, you know? I believe it's uh, short for Thompson Machine Guns. Oh, that's who Tommy is, it's, it's old Thompson. Makes some good machine guns, apparently, just a thing for, like, old-school Chicago gangsters who go, yeah, see, all the time to, uh, to use. By the way, if anybody actually knows, like, what, there must be some movie somewhere, like, what, what movie is it that has gangsters going, yeah, see, and because that was clearly a real trendsetter. And also, my gorilla is dead now. And maybe in my next Let's Play, I'll sort out this issue with the window not being wide enough, even though it's at one of the, the presets, like I promise. I'm just playing at one of the resolutions they let you play at. I don't really understand. I, I have a double monitor set up. I don't know if that's part of it. Anyway, tune in next time when Ken might, and I stress might, fix his technical issues. Booyah!